It's been day two since the protesters stormed into the president's residence and we are on top of a tower at this point. This is the path they took. Over there on the corner you could see the roundabout which is near the golf face roundabout, the president's uh, palace and uh, president's office and from there the, uh, the protesters marched all this way through this road and through this path only they entered the president's palace and this is a, a kind of a tower which is over at the spot. Here is an, another route which they took and from there they walked all the way. So this is a place by which the protesters walked and they came to this spot and here on the other end of this particular road is where the president's office Apple palace is and this is a gate they stormed into. On the right side the gate if you see that is damaged that was the gate it was broken there was a huge chaos over there there were talks about the military uh, uh, using their weapons which led to the anger the protesters and they stormed into the president's palace over next to the trees you see that building that is the president's palace and uh, into the palace uh, the uh, public stormed they were walking in even now the public are inside the place the protesters are inside the place because they are waiting for Sri Lankan president Gautabaya Rajapaksha to resign which he announced will be on 13th of July even after that the protesters are not ready to agree go back Gota, go home Gota, Gota, go Gama. These are the chants they have been doing for the past three months. The whole of Colombo is resonating with this chant and they are still inside. They have occupied the president's palace. They are inside and they demand for the president's resignation. What is going to come after that is something nobody actually has a clear picture for now. There are certain action plans, the resignation of Gotabaya, the resignation of Ranil Vikramasinghe, then forming a committee or probably an interim government. How is that going to work? It's all in action. It's, it, it's all being only for now. It's only being drafted. How it's going to work is something we have to wait and watch. But for now, the public and the protesters who are angry, who are completely upset with the kind of way the president handled the situation, economic situation, because of which Sri Lanka is completely drained. There is no, like uh, there is too much inflation. But the price of food and other essential materials have skyrocketed badly, making it completely unaffordable. They believe and they blame the president and first and foremost they want the resignation of the president and they claim once the, the public believe the protesters believe that after the resignation of Gotabaya everything will be back in order mm -hmm. this is how they believe and this is why they have protested they have stormed into the building and here they are waiting for the president's resignation from Colombo Pramod Madhav for India today